Hi, welcome to another video. So, I was reading this post from Kilo Code. It's called Mini Models Battle Claude Haiku 4.5 versus GLM 4.6 versus GPT 5 Mini. I figured we'd just go through it together because this one's actually pretty interesting. Okay, right away, they're comparing three small models Haiku 4.5. GLM 4.6, and GPT-5 Mini. All of these are, like, mid-tier coding models. Not the frontier and the ones that cost bazillion dollars, just the fast, affordable ones people actually use for everyday Devi stuff. They open with the question, which one works best for coding tasks? All right, scrolling down, they show a little table about pricing. Haiku's a bit pricier on output tokens, GLM's kind of middle, and GPT-5 Mini is the cheapest. Remember that this compares the API pricing. You do get GLM for like $3 for a good limit. But they are comparing the API prices here. And apparently, GPT-5 Mini has this catching system that makes reads, like, 90% cheaper. That's actually a big deal if you're doing long coding sessions or you're building with persistent context. That catching stuff adds up. Then they say, all three models fall in a similar price bracket. Fair. The real test is value per run, who gives the most reliable, usable code per dollar. So they tested speed, cost, code quality, and tool calling. That's a good spread, not just raw generation. Tool calling is the one that usually breaks first. And they've got this TLDR, GPT-5 Mini, strongest concurrency safeguards, lease-based locking, $0.05 total cost. Haiku, fastest, three minutes, no tool failures, but skipped concurrency. GLM, great structure, multi-file setup, but reasoning mode broke tool calling. That's a clean summary. Like, already you know who's aiming for what. Mini's safe, Haiku's quick, GLM's ambitious. Then there's a little disclaimer. These are mid-tier models, not the fancy ones like Sonnet 4.5 or GPT-5 Codex. Basically, this is the real-world tier, the models you actually integrate in your IDE or CLI, not the $10 per hour frontier ones. Now, the test setup. They used Kilo code in ask mode to write the prompt, nice, and then switched to code mode for execution. The prompt's actually solid. Build a job queue system in TypeScript with SQLite, support delayed execution, handle persistence, show an example. So yeah, that covers async logic, persistence, and concurrency, which are exactly the places small models usually mess up and they ran the same prompt across all three. No special tuning, no prompt engineering per model. Everyone starts from a clean bun plus SQLite project. That's fair testing, no cheating. Now they show results. GPT-5 Mini, six minutes, $0.05. Haiku, three minutes, $0.08. GLM, four minutes, 14 cents. So, roughly speaking, Mini's the cheapest, Haiku's the fastest, GLM's the most expensive, and probably the most architectural. Scrolling down, they go model by model, starting with GPT-5 Mini. They say it's the only one that actually understood SQLite's concurrency limitations and worked around it with a lease-based locking system, timestamp-based, locked until column. That's really nice. That's exactly what you'd do if you were shipping this for real. It even used transactions and exponential backoff. Like, that's real engineering logic. Downside is that there is a few small tool call hiccups, but it recovered on Retri. I can live with that. So GPT-5 Mini basically went for correctness over Flash. Not fancy features, just does it work and not break? Then... GLM 4.6. This one apparently crushed it on structure. 
made multiple files, full type system, enums, priority queues. Yeah, it went extra. But it hand rolled a UUID function instead of the random UUID function. That's kind of funny. Like, you can tell it's trying to show off, and it's probably trained on very low level coding tasks as well. And then, classic GLM problem, reasoning mode broke tool calling. They had to disable reasoning to make it actually run. Once they did, it worked fine, but it's slower. Also, it tracked active jobs in memory, which means if your app crashes, you lose everything. So again, really nice structure, but not production safe. The kind of code that looks clean in the repo and burns you at runtime. Next up, Haiku 4.5. Fastest, three minutes. Added extra features, stats, job clearing, indexes. That's the kind of polish you'd expect from Claude. It always tries to be developer friendly. It even made a get stats and clear completed. That's a good touch. But no concurrency control. No locking, no transactions, no safeguards. So it's like, yeah, it works. But don't put it behind an API in prod. Zero tool calling failures though, which is impressive. Claude's file edit precision is always top tier. They mention it sometimes got stuck in a loop. Not surprised. Haiku occasionally repeats itself if you leave it hanging mid-task. They also included screenshots. And yeah, you can literally see it looping. So the pattern's pretty consistent. GPT-5 mini equals correctness and safety. GLM equals structure and ambition. Haiku equals speed and polish. Then they compare tool calling specifically. GLM fails in reasoning mode. Haiku perfect. GPT-5 mini fine after retries. No surprises there. Then there's this part I really like. Cost versus quality. They found that cheaper per token rates don't mean cheaper total cost. Some models just talk too much. Like, literally, eat more tokens reasoning things out. So GLM, even though it's cheap on paper, ended up being the most expensive because it's verbose. That's a super practical insight. They wrap up with the final summary. GPT-5 mini, $0.05, safest and most production ready. GLM 4.6, $0.14, best structured but flaky. Haiku, 8 cents, fastest, richest features, but no safety. Then they show concurrency handling side by side. Mini's lease locking wins again. GLM's in-memory thing fails on crashes. Haiku just ignores it. That's like the perfect snapshot of how these three think. GPT's a systems engineer. GLM's a software architect. And Claude's a UX designer. And that's the gist of the article. My takeaway? If you care about correctness, like if you're deploying anything that touches data, GPT-5 mini's the one. If you care about code structure, GLM's fun to look at, but just risky. And if you're prototyping or demoing fast, Haiku's hard to beat. I love that they actually tested this stuff with tool calls and not just raw prompts. That's what matters. Not what the model says it can do, but what it actually builds when you press run. So yeah, pretty solid benchmark overall. I'd love to see them expand this to something like an API layer or a front-end next. Something more complex where the trade-offs really matter. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.